a battlefield with no human in sight. Only Unitree go-to robotic dogs sprinting across the burning sand. Autonomous tanks like the Norinco VUT-10 charging through clouds of dust and more than a thousand deep-seek drone swarms moving in perfect formation across the sky. Sounds like a science fiction movie? It is not. This is reality happening right now in China. While much of the world is still debating the moral limits of artificial intelligence, China has already built the largest unmanned military force on Earth, where robots and drones operate together as a single combat ecosystem that could eventually outnumber their human controllers. Instead of arguing, China focuses on turning AI into real power, integrating advanced technologies into military systems at a speed and scale that have caught the world's attention. For China, this is not just technological progress. It is the symbol of a new era, an age in which they are building the foundation for warfare, driven entirely by artificial intelligence. At the center of this leap forward is an AI system called DeepSeek, the digital brain linking thousands of robots from the ground to the sky, forming the largest autonomous combat network humanity has ever seen. Today, we will explore China's most advanced military robots, machines that are redefining what national power means in the 21st century. I am James, and welcome to China Discoveries Official. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Deep Seek, the central brain. Behind the robots, behind every maneuver of the robot force is Deep Seek, a large-scale AI platform built for military missions. According to reports, Deep Seek can simulate 10,000 combat scenarios in 48 seconds, which is about 208 scenarios per second, a processing speed beyond human capability. The system is deeply integrated across the force. PLA procurement filings mention Deep Seek repeatedly with one analysis finding it referenced more than 150 times in defense bids and contracts, indicating not a single test but a wide-scale deployment strategy. Technically, the research version publicized as DeepSeq 5.3 is a super-large model with approximately 671 billion parameters, trained on about 14.8 trillion tokens. Training at this scale consumes massive resources but has been optimized. Reports say DeepSeq 5.3 required about 2.788 million GPU hours on the H800 to train, a figure that shows China has tuned both cost and training time to enable rapid iteration. When a large model like this is connected to a field sensor network including cameras, LIDAR, radar, reconnaissance drones, and unmanned ground vehicles, it functions as a real-time brain. It ingests data, compares thousands of options, and issues reaction commands in seconds or less, turning the DTEC to decide to act chain into an automatic loop. This enables robot units to coordinate with extremely low latency, reconfigure, attack, or withdraw before the opponent fully recognizes the situation. DeepSeek is not limited to direct combat tasks. An analyst report that the PLA has tested DeepSeek for logistics, military medical coordination, and internal supply chain optimization, meaning it is designed to operate both the rear echelon and the front line, increasing the force's resilience and response speed. Moreover, DeepSeek does not merely control individual robots. It can orchestrate hundreds or even thousands of devices simultaneously as a true AI fleet. Where Western systems typically control small groups of a few dozen units, DeepSeek is optimized to maintain communication latency under 0.2 seconds across the entire network, allowing robots to react like a single unified organism. This capability makes China the first country to trial swarm operations at true battlefield scale. The Norinco P-60 Autonomous Combat Support Vehicle. Norinco P-60 is a medium-weight autonomous UGV weighing about 4,400 to 6,600 pounds, fully electric and capable of reaching 31 miles per hour. Its control system is integrated with the Deep Seek modular architecture, ingesting simultaneous data from LIDAR, cameras, radar, and UAVs to execute the detect to decide to act loop in milliseconds. As a result, the P-60 can autonomously select routes, avoid obstacles, and engage targets automatically when required. 
Operationally, the P-60 is configured to escort infantry, carry ammunition, provide point fire support with either rocket modules or a support gun, strike targets designated by drones, and rapidly maneuver to withdraw or redeploy. Exercise footage reports high firing accuracy in combat support scenarios. Its power source is a high-performance battery from a domestic supplier. For example, Huawei is mentioned, allowing the P-60 to operate for about three to eight hours continuously depending on mission mode. Note that this is an estimate based on comparable electric UGV platforms, and no official kilowatt-hour figure has been published. A secure military communication system keeps the P-60 connected to DeepSeek to synchronize tasks across multiple platforms. The Norinco VUT-10 Heavy Autonomous Combat Tank The Norinco VUT-10 is a heavy unmanned combat vehicle weighing about 24,250 pounds. Its dimensions measure about 12 feet 5 inches long by 7 feet 10 inches wide by 6 feet 7 inches high. It is fully electric and can reach a top speed of about 37 miles per hour. The vehicle is armed with a 30 mm main cannon, a 7.62 mm machine gun, and a Red Arrow 12 anti-tank missile system with a range of about six miles. Its control system runs on the DeepSeek AI autonomy stack, enabling autonomous targeting, trajectory analysis, and coordinated swarm maneuvers with other unmanned ground vehicles and unmanned aerial vehicles. In mid-2025 field trials, the VUT-10 was reported to penetrate armor up to one meter thick, operate at top speed over rough terrain, and sustain firing accuracy of up to 95%. Its power comes from high-capacity batteries that allow approximately five to six hours of continuous operation on patrol modes with shorter endurance under sustained firing. A secure military communication suite keeps the VUT-10 connected to DeepSeek for real-time synchronization of fires across multiple platforms. On the global stage, the VUT-10 sits in the same category as the American Ripsaw M5, a combat UGV developed by Textron. However, while the Ripsaw M5 remains in testing under the U.S. Army's Robotic Combat Vehicle Medium Program and requires human confirmation for any firing, the VUT-10 has been field deployed with semi-autonomous decision capabilities. This reduces command timelines from several seconds to milliseconds, allowing far faster system reactions in combat. In Europe, platforms such as the Rhine Metal Mission Master or Milrem Themis are mainly used for transport, reconnaissance, or light support, and do not yet match the level of integrated automatic weaponization seen on the VUT-10. Even Russia's Uran-9 struggled in Syria due to lost communications and sensor failures, highlighting the extreme complexity of autonomous warfare. Within that context, the VUT-10 stands out as a rare example of an AI combat vehicle that can operate reliably in the field, demonstrating China's rapid and bold advances in military automation. The Deep Seek Robotic Dog. The Deep Seek Robotic Dog, developed by Norinco and Deep Robotics, is a tactical quadruped platform for light missions. It reaches speeds of about 11.1 miles per hour and operates on battery power with an effective combat endurance of about two hours in mission mode. Each unit is equipped with multispectral sensors and a thermal camera and runs a target recognition model trained by DeepSeek with a test identification rate of about 99%. Its low-cost design, estimated at about $10,000 per unit, makes swarm deployment economically feasible. In exercises, the dogs operate in swarms of more than 10 units, performing mine detection, urban reconnaissance, narrow corridor infiltration, and infantry escort. They receive target coordinates from UAVs, move into assigned positions, then report back or deliver light fires as directed by the Deep Seek network. For power, the batteries support short infiltration or short pursuit missions. Longer tasks require on-site logistics or rotating robots. Drone Swarm Deep Seek. Can you imagine more than 1,000 flying devices operating as a single unified body with no human orders and no human pilots? While the United States has tested only up to 130 Valkyrie drones at once. This is the Drone Swarm Deep Seek system developed by Beihang University in cooperation with the Chinese military and regarded as the strongest swarm AI platform in Asia today. 
Each drone carries a deep seek module capable of processing more than 10,000 tactical decisions per second and identifying targets through facial recognition while synchronizing real-time data over a 5GA military frequency network. In a 2025 test, Beihang coordinated more than 500 drones simulating an attack on a mock aircraft carrier with communication latency of only 0.18 seconds and a survivability rate of about 90% under jamming. Each unit can carry guided munitions of about 6 to 11 pounds, infrared sensors, and can autonomously reroute even if satellite links are lost. This swarm technology lets each drone act as an eye, an ear, and a spearhead at once, a living network made entirely of silicon. According to plans, a production strategic version is scheduled for mass manufacture in 2026 marking the first time a nation will deploy a swarm of more than 1,000 units for practical military use. Unitree GO-2 Robotic Dog In recent tests, the Unitree GO-2 has shown impressive performance for a commercial quadruped adapted for military use. The robot reaches a top speed of about 11.2 miles per hour on flat ground. In field conditions, it can climb slopes up to 40 degrees and overcome obstacles about six inches high thanks to its inertial sensor suite and dynamic balance module. In terms of payload, the GO-2 can carry about 11 to 22 pounds of equipment, enough for a sensor camera, a small radar, or a light weapons module. Battery tests show that with a standard battery of 8,000 milliamp hours, the robot can operate for about one to four hours depending on mission mode while the extended battery of 15,000 milliamp hours reaches nearly five hours of patrol. When militarized, the GO-2 is fitted with a QBZ-95 weapon module and a target designation sensor, working together with UAVs to perform reconnaissance and support infantry. Field results show that speed and battery life decrease under heavy payloads, but mobility and stability still exceed expectations. With low unit cost estimated at about $10,000 in mass production capability, the Unitree GO-2 is becoming an ideal choice for China's tactical exercises and training. Sharp Claw 2 Tank Sharp Claw 2 from Norinco is a light 6x6 unmanned combat vehicle weighing about 2,646 pounds, fully electric, and capable of reaching about 19 miles per hour on roads and about 6 miles per hour off-road with an endurance of about four hours. The vehicle is armed with a 7.62 millimeter machine gun fitted with ISR sensors and can carry smaller UGVs or UAV support units for coordinated formations. In field trials, the Sharp Claw 2 moved stably on slopes of up to 30%, overcame obstacles of about 14 inches, and performed semi-autonomous patrols using digital maps. Compared with the US Black Knight, which weighs more than 26,455 pounds and carries heavier firepower, the Sharp Claw 2 stands out for its small size, low cost, and mass deployability, making it well-suited for urban battlefields and swarm tactics. Tiangong Ultra Tiangong Ultra, developed at the Beijing Humanoid Center, is a military humanoid platform under research for both urban combat and logistic support. In a public test in April 2025, the robot completed half a marathon distance in 2 hours and 40 minutes and demonstrated running and jumping speeds of up to 13 miles per hour. It was also shown lifting about 77 pounds with one arm during a demo. The control architecture is based on reinforcement learning models and language coordination modules, similar to a chat GPT for robotics system, enabling it to perform complex tasks such as opening doors, disarming small explosives, transporting equipment, and assisting troops in urban environments. Its design meets battlefield-grade water and dust resistance standards and has been included in the PLA's research program with expanded testing planned toward initial deployment in 2026. So WW3 Humanoid Robot WW3 is a next-generation battlefield humanoid. It moves at about 9 to 13 miles per hour, can carry about 44 to 77 pounds, and its mechanical arms offer about 20 to 30 degrees of freedom or more, enabling complex manipulation and precise close-quarter strikes. The design integrates short-range LiDAR, thermal cameras, and IMU, and joint force sensors, to provide collision feedback in tens to hundreds of milliseconds. 
Hot swap batteries and a coordination architecture linked into the DeepSeq network allow it to cooperate with UGVs and UAVs in close quarters battle and logistics scenarios. In simulated trials, the WW3 humanoid executed continuous mission sequences, breaching a building, confiscating small arms, clearing the way for infantry, and carrying resupply, demonstrating it is designed for urban combat and logistics rather than parkour research. Compared with Atlas from Boston Dynamics, which leads in dexterity and agility, and Optimus from Tesla, which targets civilian mass production, the WW3 focuses on payload and practical combat tasks while showing faster field application in testing contexts. The EA-03 Xianglong Unmanned Aerial Vehicle The EA-03 Xianglong, flying at altitudes above 59,000 feet, where the air is almost too thin to breathe, is China's eye in the sky. Known as Soaring Dragon, its unique joined wing design lets it fly stably for many hours, cutting drag and saving energy. The Shanglong cruises at about 435 to 466 miles per hour and carries a synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, along with a high-resolution electro-optical sensor suite capable of surveying an area of thousands of square miles in a single sortie. In tests at the Yishuntan base, the aircraft maintained continuous reconnaissance for about 10 hours at extreme high altitude, streaming real-time imagery into the DeepSeq AI network where algorithms automatically identify ships, vehicles, and enemy radar sites. Compared with the American RQ-4 Global Hawk, the Shanglong has slightly shorter endurance but higher cruise speed and a higher operating ceiling, allowing it to collect data faster and exit dangerous areas before being detected. With strong cost effectiveness and rapid deployment, it is regarded as the ideal reconnaissance weapon for modern battlefields, where accurate information measured in seconds can decide the outcome of an engagement. Pioneer Number 2 Humanoid Robot Pioneer Number 2 is a compact humanoid developed by the Chinese University in Deep Robotics designed to operate in environments where humans can or should not go. With 52 degrees of freedom across its body, the robot demonstrates fine motor control, from punches in a fistfight demo to flips and cartwheels, showing that its kinematic control system has been highly optimized. It is rated IP68 for water and dust resistance, able to operate in all weather conditions. Its lightweight frame makes it notably small often described internally as mosquito-sized, compared with full-scale humanoids. In terms of capability, Pioneer No. 2 can lift up to about 77 pounds, allowing it to carry equipment, deliver light supplies, or disassemble components. Its dual-mode AI control enables smooth switching between precise running and jumping motions in fine hand manipulation. Ideal for bomb disposal, indoor reconnaissance, and hazardous logistics missions. Public test videos show the robot performing continuous sequences of movement, switch handling, and tool gripping with impressive stability. Thanks to its small size and relatively low research cost, Pioneer No. 2 is suited for infiltration reconnaissance, short-range bomb disposal, or as an assistant for demolition teams, where precision in tight spaces must be paired with high mobility. From the skies to the ocean depths, from battlefields to city streets, China is stepping into the forefront of the global race for artificial intelligence and automated warfare. While many nations are still testing fragmented systems, China has built an integrated network where unmanned aircraft, autonomous ground vehicles, and AI command systems operate together as one. Experts call this a new revolution of power, where dominance is no longer defined by the number of weapons, but by the intelligence and reaction speed of machines. At this moment, China has moved ahead of the rest of the world, redefining national strength in the age of robotics and artificial intelligence.